Hello people, this is GreenyXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4, this is episode 50. This actually turned out quite a bit longer than I thought it would. I thought it was like this really short series, I thought it would be like an episode per chapter or maybe two, but it's turned out to be, this is the third one for chapter two, you know. Oh, another one. <laughs> But yeah, we'll have to put up with that. <laughs> with it being a bit longer. I love the dynamo stick enemies. Make life easy. I use the white egg as well when I'm recording. Um, just because there's still a little, little bit of health missing. Wrong button. <laughs> I keep doing that. Alright, we need to go... Up there would lead to where we'd fight Chief Mendez as Leon. But what we're going to do is go up. We don't need to go down there and fight Chief Mendez. There's no point. Oh, there is a point. Let's have a look first, though. Just in case I'm wrong. The Iron Key. Can't quite remember what I asked for. Anyway, Welcome. we've got loads of stuff to sell, so let's get on with it. What are you selling? Gold Bangle. In cats, I can stay because I think it still goes in something even on her story. Um, the Tachi case, like I said, I wanted to buy a bigger one of those. First aid spray, definitely. We're going to need those before we buy anything else. Timpy. There we go. We just don't have a stock for it, which I don't think you do as Ada. At least until later on. Oh, I didn't sell the gold egg. Should we sell that? No, we'll keep it actually because there's nothing new to buy right now anyway. Some more shotgun shells. We never use the shotgun, hardly. Right. Now we've got the iron key. We need a different type of key to unlock that. So we're going to go back down because we can't go up. Until we find the other key. Then, okay. Ah, the merchant. He yeah, and you now. He's just down there instead. Uh, up the other way instead. This is the last chapter of the village, by the way. <clears throat> so, from guest. Because <laughs> in chapter 3, we'll be heading off to the castle. But until then, we have a little bit more to do. And I think this might be the last episode of chapter 2. It wouldn't surprise me. Anything around here? Oh, here we go. Instead of Chief Mendes, we get a Bella sister. So let's sort this out. Do you think there's another Bella sister around you? So I just heard something. Oh, God. Scared me shitless. Oop. <laughs> Didn't see him come in. And there we have it. Our boss of chapter, chapter 2 is the Bella sister. There might be some more stuff upstairs, so we'll go for that. Ooh. Keep finding little things around the place. <laughs> um, doesn't seem to be... Ah, uh, a bit of ammo. Good, I do like my handgun. And red herb. Again, always good. It's a good job we didn't... Um, have to... Buy another first stage spray, which we might have done if I had combined two herbs like I was actually thinking of doing. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Come on. I've got time for this. <laughs> now back to the ski lift, as I like to call it. I don't, I don't know what the point of it is in the village, but whatever. Whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. Just one of them down. And you. Come on, bitch. Get the knife out and finish her off now. A lot of people have different theories about um, which enemies are Plagas and which don't. Some people say if the enemy has red eyes, then they're going to have Plagas, but that ain't true. We we know that. Because we just saw that woman just then had red eyes and she didn't do anything. Didn't transform or anything. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a way of telling. At all. <laughs> It might just be luck and everything. Or bad luck, whichever way you're looking at it. Okay, we're just about getting enough hanging ammo to keep going right now. There's someone else around you as well. I just heard. Ah, here he comes. Stop moving. There. Sorry about not having much commentary in this part. I really... This is a blind run. I sort of have... Well, sort of a blind run. I have played it once before. I sort of, um have less to talk about and have to concentrate on different things, you know, so it's it's not good. <laughs> it's only short, so you know, whatever. Skill have started. For both Leon and Ada. This is how it gets started for Leon to come down on. Let's get going. My cold's actually getting a bit better now I've been awake for a bit longer. I'm glad to see. Oh good, don't have to do anything on the way up. Didn't have to do with Leon on the way up either. Um, so yes, it's so many good. We haven't got anything to buy now apart from first aid space, so I, I think there's more to buy as you go, go along maybe. If it's not, it'd be a bit, <laughs> be a bit weird. Can we go through there, or do we need the eye scanner? Should we try just going through? Okay, check the map and see where we're supposed to be going. We can't go through the Bell Sisters way. We'll have to go the El Gigante way. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see if if there is anything over here. No. Okay, I just wanted to check in case. I didn't want to be missing a good item, you know? Let's head in the house. In the country, and all that. Another save point. There's plenty of save points in this. You can't complain about that, it's just they're a bit hidden away. But if you've got, if you use the map quite a bit like I do, you can see where the save points are anyway by looking at the S's, so it's fine. Check out the merchant, maybe he's got something new and that's why he's popping up all over the place right now. Welcome. Welcome. He's such a perv. Got us no, nothing new. What are you selling? But uh, a spinel, we'll get rid of that, Is obviously. That <laughs> Gold chick nagging, we'll get rid of. Is that all? <laughs> that's it. Let's see if... Nope. It says Mission 2 map there, did you see it? Instead of Chapter 2 map. Wonder why that is. And now she hook shots over so that the door is still locked for Leon to come through with the El Gigante. I think that's pretty good. It didn't stop anything from being non canon or anything. Anyways. Seems like quite safe compared to when we came through with Leon. I don't think it's going to be a. Um, I can't do anything to take care of.
Which is only a good thing for me. I <laughs> when you're Ada and you're limited, so limited on ammo and everything like that, you don't want to be worrying about big bosses and stuff. Oh, I take it back. But do we have to fight them or can we just run through, do you think? Let's just try running through. Because you never know. Oh god, another one. Um, let's combine it with our herb then. Oh, we can. I, I think if you do fight them, you will get either a treasure or... Or money. Anyway, cutscene coming up. See you in a sec. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Hey, senorita. Got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where's the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine. I can take a hint. I don't care who you are, as long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. <sighs> and that's chapter two done. Um, we have died once, but that was sort of intentional to see Well, that scene was like, I wanted to see as much as you lot. I couldn't remember at all. Thought it might have been better than just like an axe chop. <laughs> so, let's see the next cutscene. Get up to the save point, is it, first? Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along. If I wanted to go smoothly. And there we have it, folks. It looks like Lewis Sarah is um, one of the only people Sarah, uh, Sadler trusts, which is quite strange considering Sadler found him snooping. And I think what Ada meant was used to be one of the only people that Sadler trusts. <laughs> he can't be now, can he? Put two. See. So, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Um... This has been Greeny XI. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again next episode when we start Chapter 3. And I think it's where we start the castle. It's where things are going to get a lot harder with Ada. For me, personally, anyway. So, see you in a bit.